Would help if I turned the microphone on, wouldn't it? <laughs> Good morning, evening, dusk and dawn, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Project Zomboid uh, Part 4, I believe now. Uh, you may be noticing right away that there is something uh, different going on with the video today. Uh, I recorded all the audio um, separately, as you know. I always do it separately. I recorded the audio and the, uh, the game as normal. Um, and, uh, well, let's just say that <laughs> it didn't, the, the audio glitched, and there were so many glitches, I, I physically could not get them in sync. It, it, it cut out entire, like, halves of sentences that I was speaking, so here I am today instead to, um, post commentary today's video with you. Uh, here at the minute I'm talking about how we have crops outside, so I apologize in advance, I will make sure that in the, the, the title... You can see there, there's a bit of a glitch in the audio as well. I think it was something to do with the game lagging. The game, I had some serious lag problems with the game today. I had to play lots of um, the game zoomed in. Um, so that's what you're seeing here at the moment. You're seeing me fiddling around with stuff. I'm looking at supplies, seeing what we're, we're doing. Um, and basically, it, yeah, it's... It, it's really annoying because now I'm gonna have to sit here and basically re redo my entire narration and hope that it doesn't glitch out this time, which it shouldn't do. I, I'm gonna try and get to the bottom of why the game was so laggy today compared to usual. Um, and then fingers crossed we can actually sort it out for the next one, if there is a next one. You don't know, because Greg might die. But I mean, when I say the next one anyway, I mean the next video that I make. Um, so yeah, at the minute I'm just going through my supplies, I'm uh, sorting out my uh, weight situation. Uh, earlier in the video, uh, which you guys won't have seen, I talked about how uh, we had lots of food, and we had, um, we had food, and we had uh, this, this, the, this amount of supplies that meant that we didn't really have to go adventuring, we didn't really have to go out places and do things so yeah it, it's a little bit um it's a little bit of a quieter episode today at the minute i'm going outside i'm going to check on the crops and see how the situation looks outside and then lag kicks back in so i zoom back in again so yeah i, I check the crops uh i'll try my best to uh recreate my my commentary it'll probably sound something a bit like this Okay, so the area looks pretty safe at the minute. Let's check the crops. Oh, look, there's an info button. Let me click on that. Oh, let's see, okay, they're well watered, they're healthy, uh, there's no diseases, fantastic, awesome stuff. Okay, cool. That's pretty good. Okay. So what you're seeing here is uh, I'm going over to the TV to uh, browse because Greg had some uh, boredom issues. So I was going through all the different things, and I started reading, like, Good morning, we're coming to you directly from the White House. Today's announcement or something. This is Triple M. The president has just announced the new curfew in New York, Miami, and L.A., with more to follow. Reports are coming in at the military convoys moving there. I can't read this in time. This is the president's statement in full. Here we go. I'll read these out for you again. It is time to face the facts. It is time to settle down. We only ask... Uh, d d for your responses, Ugh, I can't read this. I personally take responsibility for the perceived lack of communication and the rumor mongering that has grown around the so-called Knox event. At this time, we have no reason to believe uh, residents of Kentucky will not recover. However, as the something something and more information is something, the likelihood is starting to recede. There we go, I got that. <laughs> yeah, this is... Um, basically, the president's making a speech. Uh, I'm trying to read it as best I can, but in my editing um, corner here, I can't see the text as uh, good as I'd like it to. But basically, I'm watching the TV, trying to get his uh, fun and his needs up. Um... So yeah, that's basically um, the gist of it here. I was hoping, I didn't know for a fact, but I was hoping that the the uh, watching the TV or being near the TV while it's on would, would combat his boredom. So 
that's kind of what I'm doing here. I watch this news broadcast with the president and Triple N, and then I believe I, I switch over to another channel, actually. So, also I know I just did a jump cut. I don't normally do those. Um, but if I have nothing to say, if I have no, like, narration or anything over the top to add, because I just can't think of anything to say, then uh, I just, I'll just i just cut it. <laughs> but do not worry, I will not cut out a death. It's very hard to do that in this game, considering when you die, the save's kind of gone. But here I go, I'm going outside... Um, I think I'm talking about whether or not I should go and grab supplies or not, but then I think I talk myself out of it because I've already got enough supplies, I'm sort of surveying the area again, and then I decide, well, I'll head up to the other house. I think. Well, I'm heading towards the other house. <laughs> I actually recorded this video, uh, like, an hour ago, and I've already forgotten what I was doing. Yeah, so I head up to the other house. I can't remember exactly why I'm going to the other house, but I'm going there. I think I was just making sure the area was clear, doing sort of like a clean sweep sort of thing. Um, so yeah. <laughs> Here we go, raiding all this stuff. I apologize, my post commentary is not much better than my actual commentary. <laughs> oh dear, there is one thing that I'm really upset that I couldn't actually I'll try and see if I can salvage it from the actual recording. Uh is a TV show I watched, it was so funny. <laughs> I've still got the, the actual uh recording for my audio from the video, so I will where I can uh, throw that in instead of uh, my post commentary here but yeah I'm basically just exploring the house looking if there's anything overly important I do decide to take that sweater um, because why not why not take the sweater and then I, I for a brief minute that you saw me go towards the window I, I debated climbing out the window and then in that split second thought well no because zombies might then get in that way if they somehow get to this house from that direction. And now I just head back home uh, <laughs> to, to I think, I go to watch more TV, but we will find out in just a second. Okay, so here I am uh, going and sorting out my weight situation again. I managed to get myself over encumbered. Um, between where you just saw on this cut here, I came in the house and turned the lights off. Uh, on, sorry. Uh, and that's pretty much all you missed. Um, I also uh, discussed the the skill tree and how I didn't know where skill points, uh, how, how I use skill points because I couldn't seem to assign them anywhere. But uh, you, know, you really aren't missing much. It, like, it's a really slow kind of episode today. Um, I, I will try and fix the issue, um, but if necessary, I will just have to go back to the good old fashioned um, What's it called? The good old-fashioned uh, recording both together. So here I am going through uh, foods that I've got. Because, <laughs> you know. Uh, oh, and I start fiddling with the oven. <laughs> I start fiddling with the oven to try and learn how to use an oven. Which is quite funny. I was like, oh, I don't know what to do. I just set it to zero. Okay, I'll walk away. <laughs> and then I start going through and I'm like, ah, soup. We can make some soup. Some, but then I don't decide. Actually, we'll we'll just give him a pack a packet of chips, or crisps, if you're correct. Uh, but yeah, and uh, that kind of <laughs> is is what I do. I I look in the fridge. I I I don't know if I put anything in the fridge. Oh no, yeah, I start to realize that I have books and I'm carrying weight that I don't need anymore and is literally useless to me because I I physically can't use them again. Um, such as the Herbalist and the, the uh, Hunter's Trapping book. So I pop those away and I decide, right, let's try and deal with this boredom, let's read a couple of magazines. Um, and the game really has a go at me here for trying to put items away. I think the game lagging had something to do with the audio uh, glitch because I noticed that when I lined up the audio and got it in sync, 
where it would start going out of sync was also where the lag spikes in the game would start to hit. So I think those two things kind of uh, were working together. So it's definitely uh, something I have to investigate. Um, I'm hoping I can fix it. Because, you know, I, I don't want to have to do this for all of my future Project Zomboid videos. I want to be able to, uh, you know, uh, give you guys the the raw content. Oh, this was me. I, I mistakenly thought that that light switch was magazines on the floor. And I was like, oh, it's funny how uh, Greg just reads the magazine and throws it on the floor. And then I was circling the mouse around it because I was going, oh, hang on a minute. That's a light switch. <laughs> that's, that, that's not... That's not a magazine, that, that is a light switch, well done, uh, well done Squid. That really went well for you there. And now I'm getting confused by the boredom, and I decide to go back to the, the uh, TV. Uh, I'll see if I can uh, rummage up some of the old uh, audio from the actual recording for you, and I'll put it in here. Your news, your station, okay. Phil Hearth of the day, coming to you direct from the White House. Yep, he has just done that indeed. Yet yeah, still a curfew announced for tonight in many major cities. Yep. It's time to face the facts, it's time to settle down. Oh, okay, it's just the same thing again. What about life and living? Tune into that. You're back with the cook show. Oh, fantastic. Just, just, just watch. Just, 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 Greg, just watch the TV. A taste of Asia. With a frying pan. Ooh. Now, minding you don't cut yourself with this. This what? Super sharp kitchen knife. Oh, he's actually gaining. Look at that. He's gaining cooking experience. Cut your pork to pieces and throw it into fry. Then add in some fresh vegetables. I'm using onion to start, then bell pepper and eggplant. Yeah. <laughs> a silly person. It's called an aubergine. What was that sound? Is that... It sounded like a level up. Like, dun, dun, dun. Oh. Oh, that's what the skill points are for. Okay. A spring in your step, too. Uh, bam. <laughs> now you have a great day. <laughs> Did I just learn the cook? Did I just learn how to cook? Hug bunnies. Apparently. Having fun, we learn through play. Nice little jingle there. Hug bunnies. Oh god, I'm stuck in this loop now, aren't I? In the sunshine every day. Hug bunnies. Someone help me. Good morning, Zachary Bunny. Oh god. Good morning, Jemima Bunny. What are you doing, Zachary? I'm reading from my book. It's a it is about a spaceship. Spaceships are very boring, Zachary Bunny. Oh no, no they are not. Spaceships are for silly bunnies. Hey, leave Zachary alone. No they are not. Hey, ponies are better. I don't like you, Jemima. Ponies are not better. Jemima Bunny, Zachary Bunny, what are you doing? <laughs> Round here we have one rule. Be lovely. Jemima Bunny. It's good to be like. It's good to like books about spaceships, Zachary Bunny. It's good to like books about ponies. Would you like to read your books about spaceships and ponies to each other? Yes, Nanny Bunny. Yes, please. Now then, shall we hug? Hug. Yippee! Hug bunnies. <laughs> Having fun, learn through play. <laughs> Hug bunnies <laughs> in the sunshine every day. What What are you watching, Greg? Hug bunnies. <laughs> Is that it? Is it over? I think it's done. Oh, I love that episode of Hug Bunnies. I'll make sure to m make sure I don't miss the next one. So after the wonderful joys uh, that Greg discovered today called Hug Bunnies, I went to the kitchen and decided that it was time to 
uh, finally cook that soup again that'll lag hitting us here. Um, yeah, that took a long time to get that audio into the video, by the way. Um, here we have, uh, so I, I, I opened the soup can with my can opener, as one typically does uh, in this day and age. And then what followed was probably <laughs> the funniest uh, thing I've ever done, which is I almost put a tin can in an oven. <laughs> But my common sense was telling me, no, this this doesn't sound right. I, I shouldn't do this. <laughs> so I, I just turned the oven off and, and, and temporarily gave up with my quest until I decided, hang on a minute. There's a bowl. I can put the soup into the bowl and then put the bowl in the oven. See, I, I my, sometimes my genius is terrifying. And so then I went into the crafting menu and was like, okay, what do I do? Let's, let's, let's uh, look for soup. Oh, I went, I went to cooking first. I looked in cooking. I thought, well, it makes sense to look in cooking. And then I was like, eh, I can't find anything here. And I was like, ah, stir fry. Well, I, I don't use soup for stir fry. Um, <laughs> and I, I already knew how to open cans. It was just a case of getting what was in the can cooked and into a meal. So I went into the filter and I searched for soup. So then I found a bowl of soup where I discovered I needed a pot of soup. And I was like, ah, I need a cooking pot. So then <laughs> I went on this massive search for a pot. I know what you're thinking, wow, that's so riveting. But I, I went all out on this, uh, this search for a pot of some description. I remember repeatedly saying the word is there a pot here? I can't find any pots. Is there a pot here? Pot? 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 Is there a pot anywhere? And, and something along those lines. Uh, uh, temporarily there, walking back towards the TV, I think Greg was trying to escape back to Hug Bunny's realm to avoid the embarrassment that he doesn't have a pot. No, what actually happened was I, I forgot which way the door worked, and <laughs> I went to a... Uh, <laughs> walked into a wall. So what I decided to do... On my quest for the for the cooking pot. Uh, that's a great name for a video. I should I should make that the title of the video. On my quest for the cooking pot, I uh, decided that I would go to the other house uh, that was close by. It makes sense. Go to the other house uh, and see if there's a cooking pot there. I mean, there's, there's a good chance it's a uh, you know it's 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 a house, so they're bound to have a cooking pot at some point. You'd think, hopefully. So that's basically what I did. I, I scavenged around just looking for a pot. <laughs> Excuse me, hiccups are hitting. Um, yeah. And that's kind of... <laughs> like I said, this isn't exactly the most riveting, action-packed episode. Especially after what happened in episode 1 and 2. <laughs> episode 3 and 4 have definitely been the uh, the quieter side of the apocalypse. Um... That's say okay. That's 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 allowed. We're allowed to have quiet days in our zombie apocalypse. And hey, I'm sure there is someone who will find it very amusing. Uh, I remember whilst scavenging in this house and whilst walking around outside, like I'm about to do now. I remember just constantly in just very quietly out loud going, "Hug bunnies, <laughs> hug bunnies." <laughs> It was it was quite humorous, if I'm honest. Just the jingle was stuck in my head. So I suppose that's what jingles are for. Um, I decided to be a rebel here and uh, walk on the grass. So that's always a fun thing. I don't know what that sound was that just came out of my mouth. It was like a sound as I was saying walk. Uh, that was interesting. Hopefully it never happens again. Um, so yeah, here we are currently. I am walking. I'm, I'm heading down to, if you remember in the last episode, we found a house down in the south. Or I, I assume it's the south, I don't know. Southeast, we'll say. I'm assuming the camera is north facing. So we found a camera, a camera, a house uh, in the southeast uh, over in this direction. That's where I'm heading now to see if I can find a cooking pot anywhere. And fingers crossed I can. Excuse me, I'm yawning. Oh. 
Do you know how hard it is to come up with random rambles on the spot like this? My lord. <laughs> I'm impressing myself. So, um, I'm just checking around for zombies as well. I don't want to get caught. Obviously, remember, if you if you don't recall, Greg uh, has the hard of hearing trait. Uh, I, I look inside the mailboxes for a cooking pot. It's a classic, classic useless Greg move. Um, but strangely enough, I don't look in that mailbox. I looked in the other two, but not in that one. I guarantee there's a cooking pot in that mailbox. I guarantee it's laughing at me now. Anyway, so here I am the little... I say it's a house. It's more like a little cute little bungalow. Uh, but yeah, so we made it to the bungalow. Um, that door being open panicked me for a second there. Until I realised that, oh yeah, I opened that door. <laughs> so, not to be too worried. And I looked around. I was like, okay, oh, this is a, a, a zucchini. And I said, actually, it's called a courgette. Um... Anyway, and then there it is, the glorious cooking pot. My quest for the cooking pot had been uh, adequately... Um, was adequately fulfilled. Now all I had to do was venture home safely. So, well done me. Uh, I saw some uh, canned mushroom soup. More soup, uh, may I add, to add to the soup collection. And I took the canned peas as well, I thought they'd be useful. But obviously I was over encumbered at that point. But I didn't really care. I was going to head back to the house and store stuff away anyhow. Um, having said that. Um, before I left, I decided to eat three quarters of a zucchini. Because why not? It's a courgette, by the way. It's not a zucchini, it's a courgette. It's called a courgette. And it's not an eggplant, it's an aubergine. Come on, guys. Why are you so scared of French words? <laughs> anyway, so I, so I took the, the, the courgette with me. And I ventured... Oh, excuse me again, I'm so sorry. Um, and I ventured forth back home. Uh, <laughs> that tells you what I think about this episode of Project Zomboid. <laughs> Uh, I'm I mean, I, I, I make jokes about it being boring, but I did have a lot of fun playing it today. I mean, look, when you're surviving in an apocalypse, there are going to be days that are just a bit more boring than others. You're going to have days that are exciting and action-packed and f thrillful. Thrillful? Thrilling, I think is, I think what I meant to say. You know, you're going to have those days, and then you're going to have days where you just don't have that. And you're just walking around looking for cooking pots to make your soup. And yeah, you know, so, um, I remember whilst cooking, well, <laughs> it took me a while to, uh, work out what I was doing, but then once I got cooking, uh, I set an alarm <laughs> on, the, <laughs> on the cooker, which you'll hear very shortly, and, um, <laughs> it made me jump, it was quite funny. Sadly, that bit of the audio of me, uh, getting jump scared by the timer, uh, was... Uh, part of the glitch part, so you can't hear me go, uh, <laughs> as the, uh, as the oven jump scared me. Um, but yeah, so here we go, uh, my, this is, this is what we call foreshadowing in the business. Earlier in the episode, you saw me fiddling with the, the knobs on the, uh, the cooker, and now I'm using the cooker that is foreshadowing at its finest. That is, uh, if I do say so myself, some fantastic storytelling by the uh, by the creator here, whoever they are, God, I bet they're really handsome as well, and have a phenomenal uh, accent and voice that people just love listening to. Okay. Um, so here we have my pot of soup. I've put it, I've put it in the cooker, and I'm literally going to just stand there and watch it cook. <laughs> That's literally all I do. <laughs> I turn the heat up to 100 degrees Celsius. We're going for it, and I I set a timer for for. Uh, I don't set a timer, apparently. <laughs> I thought I set that timer, but I didn't set the timer. Um, yeah, so, and then I decide, well, while this is cooking, uh, I'm, I'm quite fascinated, by the way, because I've never done cooking with an oven in this game before. Um, so that was fun. I set a timer for two minutes. Uh... And then I just wandered off. I think, yes, I, I go outside uh, in just a moment after I put some stuff away. I'm going to head outside in a second and check on the crops and see how they're doing. 
to make sure that they are all A-OK. -okay. At the minute I'm just putting all this stuff away. Oh, and by the way, a bit of a bit more foreshadowing here. Uh, this isn't the only thing I do with a bowl in today's episode. That's right. This episode is full of bowls and pots and soup and hug bunnies. God, fear the hug bunnies, please. I can't get the jingle out of my head. Okay, so what we're seeing here is finally the uh, uh, the soup. The pot of soup has finished cooking. It's now uh, freshly cooked. Um, I'm grabbing that. It, it, a lot of the lag that I was experiencing with the game today uh, was when I was transferring items from um, containers to me or from me to containers, and also when I was zoomed out too far. Um, so if anyone does has experienced this problem and knows how to fix it, please do let me know in the comments below, because um, that would be very much appreciated. Um, yeah, I don't have much comment on here. Uh, at the minute, I'm looking at how to make a bowl of soup. I grabbed a second bowl, so I can make two bowls of soup, uh, and then still, actually, I still don't know why I did this. I then decided that it would be best to, instead of eating the bowls of soup, I put both bowls of soup in the fridge. Um, I guess I'm saving them for a rainy day. Okay, sure thing, Greg. Remember, this is useless Greg, so we're not 100% sure what goes on in his mind. Uh, so now what I'm doing is I'm looking through the supplies because I've noticed I'm a bit peckish. And I thought, well, instead of wasting my soup, what else can I do? So I, I grab a few bits of food items. Uh, excuse me. Uh, the radish for some reason didn't... Oh, no, it did. Never mind. I made the same mistake in the video as I did in the post-recording. Oh, look at that. So... <laughs> I want to point out, I'm literally, like, sat in my editing software, re-watching the video and trying to commentate on it as I'm watching it. So, if I'm a bit delayed in my reactions to things, like if something happens, then I go, oh yeah, this happened. Then, that is why. It's because I can't remember everything that happened. This was like a 40-something minute long recording. And then I went off and had a cup of tea and did all that good stuff that an English person does. And then came back, so, uh, came back to edit it, so yeah. Anyway, so what I've discovered is I can make salad. So I have made a vegetable salad, uh, and I'm just adding, I'm just throwing food into it, like, yes, make the salad. <laughs> uh, so that's interesting, to say the least. And then I decided to also put the salad in the fridge. <laughs> Because, Greg, oh, Greg, what are you doing? Greg, what are you doing? <laughs> it's a real head scratcher, that one. My hair is a mess. Anyway, moving on. That was a random comment. I was checking out my water supplies were doing, and then I think I finally decided on what to feed Greg. Um, <laughs> yeah, right here. I decided to give him two whole... Uh, so, just to point out, I have cooked him two bowls of soup... I have made him a vegetable salad, and what does Greg eat for his dinner today? Two packets of crisps. He has two packets of crisps for his dinner today. Yep, that. <laughs> That's what useless Greg did with his day. He went out of his way to look for a cooking pot so he could make two bowls of soup. And he then didn't eat the soup. He instead made a salad. He then didn't eat the salad. He instead ate two packets of crisps. And now he's heading into the bedroom to read books. And to just let time pass. Because we're approaching the end of the video here. Um, I, I want to say again while this is happening. Uh, I apologize that I have to do this in a post commentary style today. I know it's probably, it's, it's, it's very different to what I'm used to doing uh, in my videos, um, so I do apologize for that. Uh, 
it is inconvenient and it does mean that this video might not be ready in time it might have to go up later on saturday it, it'll go up on saturday still but it may go up later than it's meant to um and i need to test my software and stuff because i need to know if i have to go back to the old style of recording that i used to do way 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 back when where i record the audio and video all together uh to prevent any uh, audio desyncs again because i know episode uh two and three both went into audio desync which was very very unfortunate I've recorded tomorrow. Uh, I'll, 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 I'll finally reveal what Sunday's new series is. Sunday, uh, tomorrow, when you're watching this video, you're going to be introduced to a new character as they start a new life in Stardew Valley. Yes, we will be doing a Stardew Valley series every Sunday. Uh, Project Zombie will continue every Saturday uh, as well. And uh, I've just rewatched after discovering that audio uh, issue in the video there. I rewatched the recording for Stardew, and that was fine. There was no audio uh, desyncs or issues there with that one. So yeah, it's interesting to see what went wrong. But yeah. Anyway, Greg has gone to sleep. He's woken up at the wonderful, wonderful time of 4:30 in the morning. But that is for a future me to worry about, because I'm not going to worry about it today. The last thing I do before I end the video is I, I search frantically for a light switch, because I want to at least be able to see Greg before I say goodbye to him for the day. So that was quite funny. <laughs> it's literally frantically searching for a light switch, like, Greg, where's the light switch, Greg? Greg? Hello? Greg? And yeah, it was it was interesting there we go i got it well done me anyway just like i had to do in the video at this point in time i will now do this here as well i would like to thank you all so very much for watching this episode of project zomboid the useless greg run with post commentary and some uh redeem and not redeemed what's the word uh saved i suppose uh audio from the original recording that unfortunately is no longer with us uh, if you have enjoyed the video, please let me know down in the comment section below, and do consider giving the video a like. And also, if you have any uh, ways of telling me how to resolve the lagging issue, that would be very helpful indeed as well. Uh, anyway, that is all from me. I would like to thank you all so very much for watching again. I have been Squid, you have been you, this has been Useless Greg in Project Zomboid, and I'll see you all next time. Bye bye.